In this video series, we will use mechanical, fluent, and system coupling for an analysis with two-way transient fluid structure interaction. In this video, part one, we'll set up the systems in Workbench's project schematic and review the settings specific to a coupled analysis in mechanical and fluent. The case we're analyzing is a thin plate with underdampened oscillatory motion in a closed cavity containing fluid. To model the thin plate, we'll use Mechanical's transient structural system. This system will receive force data from the fluid analysis. Let's rename this to structural. To model the fluid in the cavity that surrounds the thin plate, we'll use Fluent's fluid flow system. This system will receive displacement data from the structural analysis. Let's rename this to Fluid. For your own simulation, it's best to set up, solve, and troubleshoot the two systems independently before adding the complexity of a coupled analysis. We are going to couple these systems directly. The co-simulation, or cooperative simulation, of the structural and fluid systems is controlled by the system coupling system. System coupling connects the two analysis systems through the setup cells. It will control their solution processes and transfer data between the two systems as they solve. Let's skip ahead to when the structural and fluid systems are set up so that we can focus on the specifics for a coupled analysis. The geometry is imported and the structural and fluid systems are now set up. This connection allows the systems to share one geometry file. When we view the geometry for this case, we can see that both the structural and fluid geometries are modeled. Let's look at the structural system in Mechanical and review the settings specific to a coupled analysis. Here, the fluid geometry is suppressed so that we are only working with the thin plate. The time duration, which is 10 seconds for this case, is actually controlled by system coupling. Mechanical needs its step end time to be a duration that is equal to or greater than the end time in system coupling. Auto time stepping is typically off for a system coupling analysis. In a coupled analysis, the substeps occur in each coupling iteration. This case doesn't need to be resolved in Mechanical in more detail than one substep per coupling iteration. A fluid solid interface is applied to the three sides of the plate that are in contact with the surrounding air in the cavity. This interface is only used with a system coupling analysis. It defines the surfaces in mechanical where force data is received from system coupling and displacement data is served to system coupling. The setup in mechanical is complete. Let's look at the fluid system in Fluent and review the settings specific to a coupled analysis. The structural geometry was suppressed during meshing, so we are only working with the fluid in the closed cavity. A dynamic mesh is set up so that the fluid's mesh can move in response to the displacement of the thin plate. For the fluid walls that are coincident with the plate, the dynamic mesh setting is set to system coupling. Fluent will receive force data on these walls and this setting will define the surfaces where displacement data is received from system coupling. This setting also allows for the mesh around these walls to deform. The time step size and the number of time steps are set, but system coupling settings will override these values. In a coupled analysis, the max iterations per time step is the maximum amount of times that Fluent can iterate in each coupling iteration. The setup in Fluent is complete. The structural and fluid systems are both set up. Part two of this video series will demonstrate how to set up the system coupling system and solve the coupled analysis.